I'll wager your luck excels at dice. I have my ups and downs. I propose an honest game. I might just take you up on that. I can tell you're well traveled. It's a true honor to play a man like you. I'm a witcher. Aren't you afraid I'll jinx the dice? I'd rather lose to someone worldly than beat an ordinary sort. These farmers only wager cabbages. A hunter once frequented this establishment, but I haven't seen him in ages. I think you've seen the last of him. He enjoyed high stakes, but was unlucky at dice. He was unlucky in love, too. If you say so. Silver sword mean anything to you? Why do you ask? I don't have time for chit-chat. Take no offense. Where did you get the sword? I want it from a gardener. Where can I find him? The garden at St. Lebioda's hospital. I tell him the papers are bad. No passage. I'm going inside. Disease patients inside. I'll not have you spreading the pestilence. Farewell. This hospital garden demands a caring hand. You seem to like what you do. Like it? I love plants and know them well. I spent my life dealing in bloodshed. Now's my chance for peace and quiet. Bloodshed? It's no point of pride, but I long earned my living as a mercenary. Those times are behind me now, and here I am content. Don't you fear the plague? My garden brings joy. When Melitelli decides my time has come, I will go happily. Tell me about your mercenary days. Bring me a morsel to eat and we'll talk. Mmm, delicious. Amazing how honest toil can stir the appetite. Thank you, Witcher. You were saying... During the war, I served as a mercenary under Pretty Kitty herself. You've heard what a warrior she was. What a woman. Strong women. Nothing on this earth like them. Too true. We could take on anyone. I saw half the world as a member of Pretty Kitty's corps of mercenaries. We even went to Zeracania. That's really far. It was hell. Hot as an oven and humid as a bathhouse. We massacred the natives while Zeracania massacred us. They have flies there that creep up your nose at night and lay eggs. Then the larvae eat your brain and crawl out your eyes once they mature into flies. Disgusting. Many of us died thus. There were also diseases, venomous spiders and snakes, and many other afflictions I can't even name. I even saw a striped horse. After almost eight months of fighting the jungle, we had to retreat. Impossible to win a war if you can't locate your enemy. It was the only defeat Pretty Kitty ever suffered. Interesting story. Thanks. Look how they grow. I'm more interested in silver swords. I knew one of you would come by eventually. You lost it playing dice? I was sure I'd win. Beware, the Sharp One plays well. Where did you get this sword? Five years ago, there was a battle near Brenner. When the dust had settled, our men had beaten the Nilfgaardians. 
We ceased to call ourselves an Imperial Province that day. You captured the sword during the battle? Yes. It was Witcher Cohen's. A strapping fellow and a rare breed. Not very talkative, mind you. Like most of us. I gave my word the sword would find another Witcher. As he lay dying, he mumbled about teeth and destiny. Then he laughed at his own death. Yet you lost it gambling? I kept it hidden for five years. I lost hope I'd ever run into another Witcher. Miss Shani knew Cohen. She works at the hospital. Thanks. Good luck on the path. No passage. I'm going inside. Disease patients inside. I'll not have you spreading the pestilence. Fine. Move on. Geralt, you managed to get out of prison. I did, though it wasn't easy. I've heard about your deeds. Hmm. I see you're working at the hospital. I'm fighting the plague. No time for chit-chat. When can we talk? I have a room in the northern end of town. Stop by after work. Okay. Quickly, I need to get back to work. How can I help? Your skills are no good here. Shani, I do other things besides kill. We don't have a cure for the plague yet, but did you know Rusty? Don't recall. Before the plague took him, he discovered certain plant extracts retarded the disease's progress. You need those plants? Yes, the best one's Celandine. Unfortunately, it's only found on swampy ground. I'll try to help. Every blossom counts. Bring at least five sprouts.
Here's the Celandine. Excellent. I'm really grateful. It was nothing. If you need anything, let me know. Where are you staying? I have a room in the northeastern end of Vizima. Easy to find? Opposite the house, there's a small square with a sculpture of a snake. Quickly, I need to get back to work. I saw guards. They delivered this badly injured man. Who injured him? Guards won't talk to me. He must be important. They want a quick recovery. I'd like to question this man. Come back in the evening. The guards might be more talkative, especially with strong drink in hand. All right. I'll come back later. Quickly. I need to get back to work. Our mother, who art in heaven, how late be thy new art in heaven. Stay away from the prisoner. Stay away from the prisoner. I want to ask some questions. Uh, shh, he's talking. Uh, Kalkstein, he... He's passed out, shove off. There's a commotion in the corridor. Bloody thugs. Ramsmeat sent them. Thugs. Ram's meat sent them. Bloody thugs. Ram's meat sent them. Chasing skirts, you should be ashamed. Holiest Melitella, tis a monastic sign. A monk of the prophet Lebioda, disguised as a witcher. Slight exaggeration, Grandma. Ever so modest. Sway that girl away from medicine, she should pray. The prophet Lebioda said... What was it he said? 
I'll return that lost sheep to the fold. Finally, you found me. Looks like it. How'd you get past the old hag? That nice lady downstairs? She's made my life hell. Girls your age should be married. That's what she thinks. Is your rent low at least? At least my rent is low. Doctors earn little in Tamaria. Many leave. You stayed. Someone had to. Anyway. Yes? Shani, I wanted to ask you something. Mm-hmm. I heard you saw Cohen shortly before he died. That's right. How did you know? I found his sword. He died during the battle at Brenna, on my operating table. You were a medic at Brenna? I worked alongside a surgeon named Rusty. Best doctor I ever knew. Knew? He died when the Catriona Plague erupted, in Maribor. Though a halfling, he could operate like no one else. He made everything seem simple. Stitch red to red, yellow to yellow, white to white, and everything will be all right. Ah, you wouldn't understand. Sorry, Shani, I didn't know him. Do you know anything about this sword? No, but you should ask the dwarf, Sultan Chive. His knowledge of weapons is unmatched. Yes? Shani. I wanted to talk. What is it? Sometimes I dream about the Battle of Brenna. The massacre. I'm sorry. But that's it. I'm not sorry. I wake up refreshed and it's like I'm used to suffering. Does that make sense? It does. Thanks. Sometimes it's good to share. Don't mention it. The Sax Dwarf Cock. No challenges. Ugh, how can they drink this? What is it anyway? I suppose it's wine. 
Wine? Couldn't pass for wine's stepbrother. So what is it? Ugh, diluted dog's piss. Thus, I come here rarely. I thought this was the only tavern around. I live in the trade quarter, but the inns there are closed. Want to earn some coin? You mentioned you might have a job for me. Care to elaborate? I know where to find fine spirit, but it requires a sword to get it. You need a warrior to have a drink? I know a place with hundred-year-old wine from Toussaint. What's the catch? The wine cellar is in a house where monsters now haunt. It'll cost two hundred orins. Deal. I'll return here at midnight. Where's the house? Take the gate leading to the dike. On the right, it leads to the canal. The house is on the left. Witcher! Zoltan Chive, good to see you. You got inside the town okay? Plenty of work for a witcher in Vizima. It seems so. How did you manage to get in? Nasty non-humans will always find a way to sneak into human homes. True enough. Listen, Zoltan, I wanted to talk to you. Yes? What do you know about my silver sword? What, me? A simple dwarf? Shani insisted your knowledge of weapons is unequaled. All right. Silver-plated blade. A steel core. Suited to a two-handed grip. Decent workmanship, not perfect. I don't know runes for shit. Thanks. No problem. I'm looking for work. Monsters are threatening the landing in the swamp. Everyone keeps complaining. Who should I talk to about ridding them of the danger? Contact Luvarden. He's usually on the dike, supervising the loading and unloading of goods. Thanks, Sultan. Yes? Know anything about Vivaldi's bank? No, it's only Vivaldi's by name. How so? New owners. Humans. That explains a lot. Really? I've won a few poker rounds already. Congratulations! You're a virgin no more. Now you'll play for real. Where do I find these famed Vizeman poker players? Where you find all other things illegal. Near the hairy bear. This might get interesting. Don't be surprised if someone doesn't want to play with you. Real bigwigs will only deal with professionals. And a professional is? One who wins at least four professional games. Do that and you'll be welcome at every table. I need to beat four professionals. Breeze. Yes? How are you doing? Ever considered marriage, Geralt? My profession's not exactly conducive to marriage. Infertility, incessant risk, travel. Not many women would agree to that. You see, I'm having doubts. Go on. I haven't seen her for some time, and I'm getting jealous. She dwarves are so desirable. I suggest we drink heavily, if that doesn't help. You mocking me? I wouldn't dare. Hardly something to laugh about. Got a minute? What's eating you? I warn you, some philosophies involved. The meaning of life, eh? The evil that witchers fight stems from chaos. From actions aimed at disturbing order. For where evil spreads, order cannot be established. Instead of the light of wisdom, the glimmer of hope, and the glow of warmth, darkness ensues. And in darkness you find nothing but blood, fangs, and claws. Like in the outskirts. Nicely put, but as young Cero said to King Verdank on their first date, does it have any practical uses? The right of witches to live and function in this world has fallen out of balance, because the struggle between good and evil now plays out on a different battlefield with different rules. Evil has ceased being chaotic. No longer a blind elemental power, evil follows rules according to the rights it's been granted. It functions in line with treaties. 
That's progress. With more of us living longer, we can slaughter one another in the thousands. Progress is like a herd of pigs. The herd brings many benefits, but no one should wonder at all the shit. Shit or no shit, witchers exist to slay monsters. How can I when the real monsters hide behind ideals, faith, or the law? The biggest evil is moral relativity, which kills more than the Catriona Plague and dragons combined. Witchers will always be needed, no matter where that pig heart leads us. Thanks, Sultan. We still aren't. 